Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com. And Jeffrey Rhodes. And we have a surprise for you today. But first, I have to tell you, we did receive this item for free in exchange for an honest review, and all opinions are our own. And we were actually uh, quite happy and uh, excited. We've been excited about these. Um, she especially has been uh, interested in this item for a number of months. A couple years, actually. Couple years? Okay, I well. have been pestering him to get me a subscription <laughs> to this, and his answer has been, we can't afford it. So, um, subscribe, people, subscribe. <laughs> get me that $60 in buy that subscription, and I will get a subscription to this. <laughs> because I've, I've been interested in getting a subscription to it as well. It's just right at the moment, we haven't been where we, we where I felt comfortable that we had the money to afford to buy the subscription into this item. Yes. So what we got, um, Creek was kind enough to send us both the welcome box and the monthly subscription box. We're doing the monthly subscription box as a completely separate video, but we have the uh, Paca Box Welcome Box. And right now, if you subscribe, you get this awesome welcome box. Now, I don't know if they're all the same, but this was the welcome box that he sent to us. Okay. So... Have you, have you looked at this box? I took a teeny tiny peek, but I don't know what... Oh, yes. Spend less time using your gear and more time using it. it and the website... Finding. Less time finding okay. your gear. Oops. More time using it. Um, and for more information, visit www.myapocabox.com. Okay. So I thought you could open it and show the inside. Well, I don't want to spill it. No, we do not want to spill it. I mean, it's got a whole it is lot packed. of stuff. Yes. Okay. So... Oh, bow drill kit. Oh, we have the Apaka Box Survival Skills Challenge. Ooh, Look at that. Okay. Yes, that's something that I have been really, really interested in is his Survival Skills Challenge, which now he has... Um, oh. oh, look, it's a welcome box with a contents list. Look at that. Okay. Yes. So um, he does have a... Survival Skills Challenge that is separate from the Apaka Box, if you're interested in that. How much poking around did you do in this? Not very much, just huh? a little poking. Okay, because I just I just saw something yes. in here. And we, and we have we have some descriptions here if we need those. You just pointed to the thing that I was... Okay, well, what do we have? Cause well, we all want to see, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to start with this item. It's a... Uh, Super knife sharpening system. Um, okay. This is a, a uh, desktop knife sharpening system. Yeah. Um, wow. it, it's got the directions on the back. Yes. Uh, but this is to be able to sharpen your knives. Um, it says hmm. in the box uh, or in the brochure, this desktop knife sharpening system features a ceramic fine sharpening wheel and a hardened alloy metal coarse sharpening wheel to sharpen dull knives in minutes. It's perfect for quick and easy touch-ups before heading out to the field. Yep. So, yep. did so. you show that? That looks really, really nice. Yeah. So, yes. So, let me see if I can. I know the light. Um... But look at that. You can see those grinding wheels. And I'm sorry about the light, but we really do need it here. And see, this is something I think you're going to oh. like. Oh! This is the Bug In Survival Sprouting Kit. Oh. Which is right up her alley. Yes. It's plants. It, it's, it's, I'm not sure what's... Okay, it says uh, Bug In Sprouting Kit Lids. Sprouting fresh greens on your kitchen table is the missing link for many long-term long food storage pantries. 
In under six days, you can sprout mounds of fresh greens that are loaded with essential vitamins and minerals. They are perfect for salads, sandwiches, smoothies, and more. Enclosed are two custom-designed sprouting lids that fit perfectly onto a standard si uh, glass ball mason jar. I filmed a step-by-step -step training course that shows you exactly how to use them. And watch the full course here, and it gives a link. And he is absolutely right. Fresh food is something that most people don't keep a supply of, a way to create it. It's just not in people's pantries. So this is really, really awesome. Yeah. That, so that that's the lids that go on the jar. Yes, that is the sure. lids. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, look, he's opening a bag. Show the bag. It's just a manila envelope. Yep. And inside we have, ooh, all natural bug stuff. Oh, well, take it out and let us see. Okay, it says this is a handcrafted insect repellent. The enclosed bottle of bug stuff is a handcrafted formulation of skin healthy essential oils derived from three insect repelling plants. It is made and bottled by woodsman and outdoor instructor Jamie. How do you suppose you say that? Burley. Burley. Uh, oils include rapeseed oil, pure peppermint oil, and rose geranium oil. 100% plant-based, no water, no fillings, nothing but the good stuff. No need to shake it as it will never separate. It has an indefinite shelf life. Be sure to throw this awesome stuff in your pack on your next excursion outside. Bug stuff does not contain soy or peanut oils. It is made for external use only. How's it smell? Not With bad. draining oil, I bet good. Oh wow, that really does smell really good. Yeah, it doesn't. Wow. Have, it doesn't have that. that and, and no. Um. <laughs> it's not a strong floral scent. It's well, actually it's not a strong scent at all. No, it's a very um, pleasing scent, and not even really yeah. a floral. No. 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 It's just it. It's kind of there, but not. Yeah. Overpowering it, and it, it's not, it's not like citronella, where no. it's just a, a, a overpowering, you know. So it's no. very, it's very nice. I, was... yeah, I could pick up on the uh, geranium in it, but very nice. Okay, what do we have there? I'm not sure. Oh, it's, it's, it's yeah, a drawstring bag. Yep, I says, think this uh, is what it is. Your stock. Yep, I think it's the ferro rod. Oh. Yeah, yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay. So. Uh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It says when it comes to fire starting tools and ferro rods. How do, how do you think? <laughs> furrow, furrow stock, I don't know if I said that right, guys, Yeah. Um, sets the standard. Founded in 2015, you can depend on your furrow stock ferro rod to send lightning hot sparks downrange to help you start a fire under any condition. The one half inch bar can be scraped thousands of times before wearing thin. Use the enclosed striker or the back of your blade to drive sparks exactly where you need them. The included storage bag keeps it clean and at the ready. Want to learn exactly how to use a ferro rod? Um, and he offers 50% off of his online ferro rod mastery course at OutdoorCore.com. And um, I'm not going to give you guys that code, of course. <laughs> yeah, you need to subscribe and get your own welcome box if you want that. But otherwise, you can take the course. You just won't get the 50% off. And I do encourage you to go to OutdoorCore.com and check out some of the courses there. Now, this is what I was looking at. Um, it actually has a, uh, a little bit of a ruler. Yeah. It's got a, a, a mini ruler on there on both sides. Um, There's all, it's also a can opener and yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure 
uh, what this part of it is. <laughs> I know it's, it's <laughs> I know there's something to it, but I'm not sure what. But this is this is very nice. This can yes. be very very handy. Um, so that's for our fire fire starting. Um, oh 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 oh! We have a knife. Is that the more? We have a knife. Um, oh, very nice. Yes. Is it the Mora 511 Camp Knife? Mora Camp. Yes. Uh, the Mora 511 could quite possibly be the world's perfect all-around camp knife. It's made in Sweden, and it's one of my absolute favorite knives. Not only is it razor sharp, but it's also incredibly durable, eight inches overall, three and a half inch stainless blade. Yep. yep. Carbon. Yep. Carbon steel. Yep. So. <laughs> yep. So, that's really. That really fits the hand well if you have smaller hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it. Yeah, kind of pops in the yeah, carrying it, case. Yeah, it actually yeah. clicks in. It was rubber banded. Um, and the case does have. Belt clip. Yeah. yeah very nice. Yeah. Um, I am going to rubber band, rubber it, band back. it back in place. To keep it where it needs to be. Yes. But that's very, very nice. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be useful. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a saw. Yes, it is the Camp Gator Folding Saw. It says whether it's processing wood for fire building or camp craft, there's no substitute for a well-built folding hand saw. Oh, wow. That's nice. <laughs> uh, the great thing about this saw is that it's aggressive enough to fell large limbs and fine-tooth enough to cut notches for camp furniture and traps. 12 inches overall, 9 and 3 quarter inch stainless uh, saw blade. Wow. That's it, it locks really... into place. Yes. Uh, it actually locks closed as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's um, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can hold it down here, yes. or you can hold it up here. Yep. I I would say these tools are well over the value <laughs> of the subscription. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if it was fifty a month or sixty a month plus shipping. I think. Um, but definitely well, well worth that. Yeah, this, this welcome box has definitely got oh, yeah. a lot of, of good, useful... Yes. Um, Are those just brochures? I'm not sure. Okay, this is um, Learn Outdoor Skills Online. And it is for OutdoorCore.com. And it talks about um, build the perfect bug out bag. Um, the art of scarf bending, how to build your first longbow for under ten dollars. Lots and lots of courses here. Um, and this is campcraftoutdoors.com. I'm not going to show you the other side because you can save fifty percent on one of the online courses. And again, if you want that, you need to go get your Apaka box. And get the welcome box, get the coupons, get all of this really cool tools. Okay. This is a key ring. Okay, a key ring. <laughs> okay. Which may not be. No, this it's is not. just a. It, it, it has the Apaka box logo on one side. Yes. And on the other side, it says, not if, but when. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, here oh. we go. Here's what you want. Okay, yes. Yes. These are the Handy Pantry Sprouting Seeds. I've partnered with my friends at Handy Pantry to provide you some organic alfalfa sprouting seeds so that you can get started sprouting and learning the skill 
right away. Follow my instructions at the course listed above to learn exactly how to turn these seeds into jars full of fresh greens in under six days. And... 87% germination. Yes, 87% germination. So, and they were just tested this year. So these are good seeds that will last quite a while as long as they are properly stored. Okay. And we have next, is that the pocket field guide? Yes. Okay, this is Creek Stewart's pocket field guide. My pocket field guides are packed full of life-saving survival information. I've included one of my favorite guides in this box to help build out your knowledge base. These guides are perfect for the pack or the home library. My goal is to write 100 before I die. I'm well on my way and see all completed titles here. And it is creekstewart.com slash pocket dash guides. Oh, so. this, this is incredible. Me. Oh, I, 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 I want to <laughs> show. I know, you want to show. I'm, I'm, uh. He's learning a lot. And, you know, I, I too say, we know things are going to happen. We don't know when, but we know they are. And it is 100% better to be prepared and never need what you've prepared for than to not be prepared and need it. So, this, this has lots of illustrations. Tree identifications yeah. for. Uh, are those trees that have edible? No, uh, no, no, it's. Part of it's it's in part because of, of what that goes with. Okay. Which is, is the, the kit that he has sent. Okay. That we get to learn how to use and and Yes, that, that looks and there's a lot of information in here. And this really would fit in a pocket. Oh yes. So it, it'll fit in the bug out bag beautifully. Yes. It'll be handy right, you know, where we can get to it. Yes. Uh, especially if we keep it with the rest of this kit. Yes. Oh, look at that. This is a bow drill kit. Yes. Um, this is, if you have any idea what a bow drill kit is, it's for fire starting. Okay. This is, this is one of the classics for fire starting. Yes. And the, the pocket field guide is the step-by-step -step that goes with the kit. Okay. Including the identification of several of the types of trees that you want to use for your kit and for your fire starting. Okay, well, it says about this, because this is the survival ch skills so, challenge. Yeah. It's a light foot bow drill kit, and it says... This kit has been field tested by hundreds of Apaka Box members and includes everything you need to bust out a big fat ember, otherwise known as BFE. I've been so excited to include this kit in your box, I could hardly stand it. Having a bow drill kit made that fit into your Apaka Box was no easy task. If you're new to bow drill, I filmed a great video walking you through the process from zero to ember using this exact kit. You can find it at myapocabox.com slash L-I-T-E-F-O-O-T. Your challenge is to get a fire going on your own. This. Yes. This. And this was what drew me to the Apaca boxes, was that every month they had a skills challenge. Now, like I said, I don't know if they still do, but this this was what I had originally seen a couple of years ago and thought mm -hmm. it would be so cool. Yes, and this is going to be uh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm You're getting excited here. Yeah, I'm getting anxious to, to give this a try. Um, but I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> uh, but now that I know what's in here and what we're what we're looking at because this is this is one of the you know 
<laughs> you always see the, the guy is, you know, attempting to start a fire. And this is one of the classics. You know, if you know how to use this to start a fire, you're going to be able to start a fire. Um, so. And it I, comes in this really nice oh, drawstring bag. Yeah. Look at that. Which means it'll it'll go really nicely in our uh, bug out bag. Yes. It will. Everything. I mean, this is just an incredible collection of uh, introductory survival items. Yes. And. Keep talking. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm, You're just I'm, impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. I am impressed by all of this stuff. Um, I, I Honestly, I wish I had known a little sooner, because I think we would have found the money for this <laughs> a little sooner. Um, there, is, there is just an amazing yes. um, collection of, of items in this. Yes, and that is just the welcome box, people. Yeah. That's, that's, that's just the start. That's yeah. the introduction. Yeah. Um, but yes, that, that fire starting... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll do a video to see if I can actually manage it. Yes. Um, <coughs> and, excuse me. And like I said, he does have a downloadable or printed skills challenge binder set that you can get it does not come with the tools and the box and stuff it just comes with the how to's and that is available online too if that's something that is more suited in your price range um i think it was it they were both under ten dollars yeah so it was yeah. cheaper of course if you wanted to print everything yourself but if you wanted to have the binder and everything pre-printed, it was a little more, but definitely worth it. Yeah. yeah. So. But I, I like the, I like the kit. Yes. Um, it makes it a little easier to get started, I think. Yes. But um, just the whole skills challenge idea. Um, I mean, we were talking about doing, getting the, the, the binders uh, and doing video of us attempting each of these skill challenges, um, you know, and, unpracticed. Yeah, un Be just just we get the the challenge, we attempt it, see if we can do it, just cold, and then come back to it after we've had a chance to really play with it and and try and it learn. and, and yes. learn it, and see if we have better results later on <laughs> yes because people think i know so many people well i'm going to buy this and i'm going to buy that i'm going to get this book and that book and then when i need it i'll have the books that's a little too late <laughs> I, i'm sorry but that's a little I, too late there there are people who who do just fine learning from books but but not in an emergency situation where yeah. You are going to do it, or you're going to do without. Well, it's you're going to do it, or you're going to die. Uh, yeah. Situation. Uh, sometimes you don't have the time to pull out a book and start reading it. No. Just to try and attempt it, you no. have to have that knowledge already and be able to just yes do it. It's like um, some of the people that decided they was going to grow a tomato plant, and. Didn't go as planned, and tomato plants are fairly easy to grow. But when you don't know what you're doing and you do everything the way you shouldn't do it, things don't work out as planned. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you do everything backwards, yeah, <laughs> um. because you've gotten frustrated and you really need this to work, and you know, that is not the time to learn a new skill. Right. Right. So, well, and that's that's the seeds that he sent, the, the sprouting kit. Yes. Um, you know, it's, it's basically, you know, giving you that introductory, you know, to yes. sprouting the seeds and growing the plants and figuring out, okay, 
Now I know how to sprout everything. Now I'll start with, you know, the tomatoes or, or whatever it is that you're going to... Well, and, and the idea for some living food in your pantry that is sprouts. Yeah. And you might think sprouting is really easy. <laughs> it is. I've watched her. But you can have some problems. Um, mold is one of those problems. You can get the seeds to sprout and then they can just die up and dry, die. So it is a skill and it is one that you should learn. And, you know, I feel like I should have thought about sprouting seeds to go in the pantry a long time ago, but I didn't. So, you know, that's something that another person has thought of that's in this Apaka box that I wouldn't have thought of, you might not have thought of. So, you know, it's, I think it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, I hope you will visit Creek at myapocabox.com. I hope you will tell him that you saw the video here. Um, Sherry Ann Richardson and Jeffrey Rhodes, experimentalhomesteader.com. I hope you will get your own box because, you know, you never know. You just never know. And... This was one box completely full of so, so many great tools to help you get started on your path to preparedness as well. Subscribe, check out our membership because inside of our membership, we're gonna be having some good exclusive content coming up and you don't wanna miss that. So, so stay safe out there and uh, we'll be back on another video. Yep, and have a great night. Bye.